Did you know the tallest African American ever recorded is from Gallatin, where that Gallatin was the first city to have the first African American owned agriculture fairground in America. It's facts like these that people can discover if they take a trip to Gallatin during Black History Month. As News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell explains, all you have to do is look up. Feel free to sit where you like. Martin's Chicken and Waffles owner Mo Martin and his wife have been running the business for only a few years, feeling the love from the community. We love it here so far. Gallatin, uh, I believe, is, is making great strides in attempting to deal with uh, the challenges of our past and our present and to deal with it in a manner that no one is excluded. Those attempts can be seen in these avenue banners downtown, each one highlighting black excellence. I'm hoping that children, youth, young adults, and even seasoned adults will be inspired to learn more about the contributions of African Americans past and present. First Baptist Church's senior pastor, Derek Jackson, was one of the 16 people in places selected. I just see my role as doing whatever I can to bring people together uh, for greater good. Not only does he have nearly 22 years as the lead pastor at his church, he's an entrepreneur, accountant, teacher, and author. I'm not sure I should be one of the ones on the banner, but of course there are so many unsung heroes and heroines who have paid the price down through the years right here in Gallatin for persons like me and those coming after me to, to have, a, have a chance. Pastor Jackson knows some people would like to forget black history altogether, but thinks by the city highlighting black excellence, it shows they care about all backgrounds, which in return makes people feel welcomed, which leads to people like the Martins moving in to share their culture. We just try to bring a different flair uh, to the uh, city of Gallatin. In Gallatin, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5.